Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do a taste test with some help on this Ayoba Yo, which is the name of the company, and it's Original Biltong. I have no idea what that is. It says Premium Cuts of Tender Beef. So originally when I did the unboxing for the Keto Crate, I thought that this was beef jerky, but it specifically says it's not jerky. It's Biltong. So I don't know if that's like a marketing thing or if it's something completely different than jerky, but I'm pretty sure it's just jerky. So I'll get started with the uh, info first. And right here on the nutritional facts, it uh, says one serving per container. So this thing is for one serving and that's uh, 28 grams, 90 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, which you would expect from, from jerky or meat. Now, some of the beef jerky companies out there do add sugar, so it's good to see zero carbs on this one. So for the ingredients, it just says beef, sea salt, coriander, which is really good, and Worcestershire powder. I can never say that word right. Worcestershire. Yeah, so she can't say it either. Worcestershire sauce. And uh, pepper and vinegar. Okay, so that's it. I like the packaging for this one. It says a grass-fed beef, yeah. sugar-free. And yeah, it looks interesting. Let's try this out. So actually, before I open it up, I do have the Keto Crate uh, website here, and it says that the value for this is $4.99. Now, beef jerky is pretty expensive, especially here in Hawaii. Uh, $4.99 is a standard kind of going rate for a package of jerky, but not this size. And this is a little smaller than uh, what you will buy at the store. But I guess you're looking at something that has zero sugar, uh, compared to some of the other things that uh, they add sugar to make it a little bit more palatable. It's a little expensive, but most of the products on the Keto Crate are, are uh, lean on the expensive side. Actually, to be fair, most of the Keto products are lean on the expensive side. Okay, so I just opened it up. Let's check this out. Mm. I can smell the spices, but I don't know. Let me, let me have them taste it first before I say how I think it smells. What are they? Mm, mm. Wow, that's good. I like this. It's got a little bit of spice in there. I can kind of taste the coriander a little bit. I don't. I don't. So I like the flavor. I like the texture. It's nice and soft. It's not dry like some of the jerky out there. It has a nice little bite to it. But if I'm being honest, it almost smells like spoiled milk. It doesn't taste like spoiled milk though. It is good though. Te gusta? Yeah, te gusta? Mm -hmm. They like it. If they like anything, especially this one, it's good. It's not spicy, but I can taste some pepper. The aftertaste is a little interesting though. I can't really pinpoint what the aftertaste kind of tastes like, but it's not terrible. It's good. The aftertaste is almost a little uh, bitter. It's not bitter, but it has like a bitter essence. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's not too bad. I do recommend this one. Now, right now, my favorite jerky is the bacon jerky. I can buy it for $4.99, a bigger bag than this in the military commissary. So I don't know if I would buy this over that bacon jerky. The bacon jerky is actually a little bit better, but you do get tired of uh, eating the same thing over and over. So it's nice to have other options. What I like about this is it's not really heavily flavored like some of the jerky is. I keep calling it jerky because it's jerky. It says it's not jerky, but we all know it's jerky. So that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know if you have any questions on the comment section below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Hit that bell so you get notifications anytime I upload new videos. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. See you later.